Good morning. It's that lock. Um, just seeing if anybody joining me for half an hour class this morning. It's hot and I don't have a fan. <laughs> it was really, really hot yesterday as well and the day before. Although it's cooler, it's still very humid. It's nice, can't complain. So let's give it a minute or two and see if anybody is joining me for a quick 30 minutes yoga practice this morning. And uh, I thought while waiting, hi morning, whoever that is, while uh, waiting for anyone to join me, this will be on um, um, recording anyways it will go up to Instagram on, and Facebook running together and if you have not been to my class before my name is AJ and thank you for joining um, and for my class uh, if you have any recent injuries you should shouldn't feel any pain throughout the practice and um, you need to just modify as much as you can or only do what you can to what you feel good with for you today um, and uh, respect and honor your body if you want to come out of the pose during the class come out of the pose come back to your breath and then join back the class so um, don't rush it but again uh, you shouldn't feel any pain around any joints in any movement or anything that you do really so um, we'll start in about a minute and if you are already there watching um, just squeeze your hands shaking your hands warming up the joints for a bit start anyway when you're ready if you're watching this video or you're joining soon you just uh, bring yourself to come to sitting position straighten up the back to a natural position that's comfortable for you this morning and lowering the gaze or closing your eyes we can start with breathing exercise noticing the sensations around the body noticing the position of your stomach area engaging the core if you can if that's comfortable for now and then inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth the sound inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth and then inhale through the nose and if you can close the mouth and exhale through the nose inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale for three two one exhale for three two one inhale three two one exhale three two one inhale three two one exhale three two one inhale for four three two one exhale four three two one inhale expand the belly expand the chest take it up to the crown exhale from the crown back to the chest to the belly and the tailbone inhale for four three two one exhale relax the shoulders relaxing the hips three two one inhale four three two one exhale four three two one inhale five four three 
two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale from the tailbone, expand the belly, expand the chest, take it to the crown. Exhale from the top, back to the chest, the belly and the tailbone. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale a few more breaths. Want to check the sound? Breathing in and breathing out. Let's check that sound. The breathing in, breathing out. We're going to try and breathe this way throughout the class as much as we can. So keeping a straight back, bringing your palms together when you are ready. And let's bring three things to mind that you are thankful for this very moment. And then just bringing your hands to interlace. Moving your hands forward and back, just warming up the joints. All my windows are open. I have helicopter flying around and everything going around outside, but it's too warm to close the windows. <laughs> and then just give the hands a shake. Just interlace again and pressing your hand forward and then inhale, taking up towards the sky. Noticing the sensations around the upper back, engaging the core, pulling in that belly. Exhale down, inhale up, pressing up and exhale down, inhale and exhale. Squeeze the hands again, shaking the hands and then resting the, placing the hands to the sides, raising one arm, I'm starting with my right, exhale to your left, one, two, three, four, Five, inhale back to the center, raising opposite arm. Exhale for one, two, three, four, five. Inhale back to the center. And then slowly let's come to child's pose where you're going to sit on the heels, widen the knees as wide as comfortable for you this morning. Hands in front, just walking the hands forward to where it's comfortable for you, keeping the hips close to the heels. Bringing forehead to the ground for three breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Squeeze the hands and release. Inhale, exhale, two. Tapping the fingers if you want. Inhale, exhaling, three. Inhale. And then slowly coming up onto all fours. So spreading the fingers. And have your wrists kind of like aligned with your shoulders, knees aligned with your hips. Prepare to inhale, gazing up, taking the belly down. Exhale, pulling in that belly, the back reaching up to the sky, squeeze everything, bringing your gaze towards your chest. Two more, inhale, gazing up. Exhale, press your hands away, squeeze everything. And last one, inhale, gazing up, belly button down. Exhale, the back reaching up towards the sky, squeeze everything. Gaze towards your chest. And exhale back to the center. Just gently making circles with the upper body and the hips, just to one side about three times. And then making circles to the opposite side, just to warm up a little bit around the joints. And back to the center, taking the fingers to just facing towards you. Adjusting your hands, so you're gently just gonna move forward and back. See how you feel. Inhale, exhale, just a couple more times here. 
and then back to the center taking the hands to the both sides of the mat fingers pointing to the outer side just gently moving the body left and right or shoulders left and right And then coming back to the center, extending the right leg or one leg behind, toes touching the mat, taking it all the way to the opposite side as you bring the gaze to that extended leg for one, two, three, four, five. Inhale back to the center, bending the knee, and then inhale, raise the knee to the right. Exhale, one, two more, inhale, Exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, taking the same leg to the back, going to press the heel to the back and just pressing the hands away. Three breath, one, noticing the sensations around the body behind the legs, two, and three, coming back to all fours, just gently tapping your feet. Squeeze your toes and then rotate your ankles a few times here. If you have any knee issues, you can always cushion your knees or double your mat. Inhale, prepare, and taking the opposite leg to the back. And toes touching the mat, taking it all the way to the opposite side, bringing the gaze to that right shoulder. For one, two, notice the sensations on the left side of the body. Four, and Five. Inhale back to the center. Prepare the knee to take it to the left. Exhale down. Inhale, raise. Exhale down for two. Inhale, raise. Exhale down for three. And then taking it back again. Just pressing the heels to the back. Pressing your hands away. Three breath. One. Engage the core. Pulling in that belly. Two. Three. Inhale back to the center, sitting on your heels, if that's okay for you today, or prop as much as you can. We're just going to prepare to straighten the back, think about the position of your core, and then see how you feel as you gently lift the knees off the ground. If you feel that's too much, you can always just use a block or something to rest the knees on your prop, but otherwise, controlling your position and just think about bringing the gaze down and forward stay here this is your place today or you can have your hands on your thigh for one three breath two engage the core three and then slowly release inhale taking your right knee in front just gently rolling the shoulders leaning forward prepare to take the back knee off the mat and then slowly from here, taking the back knee, as you take the left foot to be flat onto the ground, keeping your right knee 90 degrees. Both hands on that right thigh. As you press and adjust the left foot, just bringing your gaze forward, staying here. Or you can bring your palms together in front of you, but adjusting the hips to face forward. Either you stay here or you're raising the arms up, keeping the palms together, reaching up for three breaths. Keep pressing onto the back heel. If, like me, you have tight ankles and, uh, and some sort of pain around the glute, this is quite tough or you might feel slight discomfort. Two, reaching up to the sky. Keep that right knee steady and keep pressing onto the back heel. Three. And then slowly, slowly taking back your palms together in front. You can bring your knee down first, or you can just take that left elbow over the right knee. You can adjust or not. Gaze towards that right elbow towards the sky. Take the back knee off the mat. And three breath there. Inhale. Exhaling one. Keep pressing that heels to the back. Bring your gaze to the right elbow, two, engage the core, inhale, exhaling, three. Noticing the sensations around your hips maybe, or other parts of the body, but your thoughts is important. And then bring it back to the center, spread the fingers, come to plank. 
engaging the core, squeeze everything, press your hands away, three breath, inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, and then coming back onto your knees, just gently take the hands towards the knees, and then slowly just lift the knees off the ground as you stretch the back of that leg. Just your Achilles, maybe your calves. Inhaling back down. Exhale, taking the opposite leg in front. Rolling the shoulders, inhale. Exhale, leaning forward. Prepare with both hands to take the back knee off the mat. And as you take the back knee off the mat, adjusting that right foot so it's pressing flat. And then slowly bring both hands onto your left thumb. And you're adjusting your body. If it's slumped, you're just going to try. You can move that left foot so your body's facing forward. Either you stay here or bring your palms together in front of you. Again, you can either stay or raising the arms up towards the sky. Keep pressing onto that right leg. One. Two. Three. And then slowly coming down, you can come to your knee first or straight away just bringing that right elbow over your left knee and then taking twist. Three breath, inhale. Exhaling one. Inhale, exhale two. Steady knee 90 degrees, pressing onto the elbow and vice versa. Three. Inhale, releasing the hands to the ground, and then bringing the right foot to meet the left. Inhale, come up, interlacing your hands, and then release the index finger. Exhale to your right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. And then just gently shaking the hands and the legs. And before we go down to sitting position, just hands onto the waist. Slowly just focus on bringing the attention to the body weight as you take it all towards your left, raising your right knee. Either you hold onto your right leg underneath your thigh or taking the shin close towards the body. Stay here for about three breaths. If you have your own expression where you want to take your right um, big toe, then keep your left hand onto the waist, extend to where it's comfortable for you today, or use a wall, or just extend and take your own expression for the day. Three, and then slowly release. You can either use your knee or still on you, holding onto your toe, taking that right leg to the right. Whoops. One, engaging the core, crown of the head up. Two, Chest forward, inhale, exhaling, three. And then slowly take it back to the center, shaking the hands and the legs. Prepare, taking the body weight towards your right. Inhale, raising your left knee. Again, you might just want to stay here because this is where you feel good today. Or taking the shin towards or knee towards your chest. A little bit more intensity you can always grip your left big toe finding that balance and keep your right hand to your right waist you can always stay here straighten up or if you want to take other expression by straightening the legs one three breath two three and then either with bent knee or straight legs taking it towards your left one engaging the core crown of the head up two and three. Inhale back to the center and then slowly bringing your palms together, standing tall, shaking the hands, and then come back to the front of the mat. Inhale, raising the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Keep the knees slightly bent. And we're just gonna stay here for a few moments as you straighten one leg and then the other. Keeping your eyes open, use a block if you need to. For me, this can be really strong for my glutes, so 
in the morning so see how you feel you shouldn't feel any pain you might feel sensations around the back of the legs glued or lower back and you don't even have to really straighten your legs either take your own expression that's nice for you this morning and then from here just gently think about taking your elbows and your thumb inside your elbows and then just gently dropping the crown of the head towards the ground keep your eyes open and if you are comfortable gently just swing side to side noticing the sensations that's happening around the body for me it's my glute more than my lower back my lower back feels quite nice so notice your own sensations and notice what's in your mind and then come back to that breath or direct the exhalation towards any discomfort and then we're going to stay at the center just the three breaths one relaxing the shoulders the neck two and three releasing the hands to the ground just gently bringing your gaze to the left and right side of the arms and then inhale prepare straighten up the back straighten up the legs gazing forward and exhale come down to plank whichever version you're taking knees on the ground or not squeeze everything pressing your hands away spread your fingers engage the core three breath one two and three and then coming back to child's pose and then come to sitting position before after just one breath inhale coming up and then slowly just taking your knees in front of you think about having your feet um, as wide as your hips so the position of your feet and your knees the same and then slowly from here straighten the back as much as you can or you're just going to bring your hands behind you fingers pointing forward if that's not possible do what's comfortable for you can have it to the back as well it's slightly different but just about eight ten inches away think about you're taking the hands behind squeezing your shoulder blades inhale pressing your hands away think about chest up engaging the core from here exhale lift the hips of the ground to where it's comfortable for you if it's comfortable to go further then we're going to lift the hips high if you don't have neck issues can just gently look back but you don't have to squeeze everything hips high one two more two feet flat toes on the ground three and then slowly release Relaxing the hands a bit gently, just moving the knees left and right. And then from here, just gently taking both knees to the right. And then slowly taking that right leg all the way to the back. As you bring your body forward and up, coming to pigeon if that's comfortable for you. So you're having your knee in front, toes to the back. Some of you might be able to take a stronger one with your shin in front, but we're just going to do with the knees in front. And if you feel that you are lopsided there, if you can, if it's more comfortable bringing the hips to level, you can always use a block, place it onto underneath your left hip. Stay here. This is your place today. Keep pointing the back foot or we can lean forward resting the forehead or face onto the fist or hands or props that you have three breath one two notice the sensations around the body the hips maybe see how you feel three and then slowly slowly coming up 
gently taking that extended leg all the way in front or over that left knee so you will have this so try to keep your uh, foot flat in front hold on to that left knee right hand behind or if you want to take your elbow straighten up the back exhale gaze towards that right shoulder three breath one two and three and then from here back to where you were before we're just going to change to the opposite side we're going to bend that right knee and then extend the left leg so we're just swapping sides and see where you are so if you feel that your right hip is uh, lower than your right it's not bad you can always come back to the center and then use a prop take a prop to block or cushion as you come up to the center you can place the block underneath your right hip you're going to stay here if this is your place today see how you feel or you can just gently come down only to where it's comfortable for you and then resting your head either on your cushions or hands three breaths one notice the sensations this is a nice pose to stay longer actually two three and then slowly slowly remove the props whatever you're using there coming back up and taking that extended leg over in front or over the knee wherever that you are comfortable with this morning and then either hold on to your knee with your right hand left hand behind or taking the elbow only if you can only if it's comfortable try to have both bum cheeks on the ground and then slowly straighten up the back bring the gaze towards that shoulder the left shoulder to the back three breath one two and three inhale back to the center and then slowly just releasing the legs in front give it a shake gentle shake shaking the hands and then come to a sitting position that's comfortable for you we're just going to do a quick breath exercise before we finish it's already almost half 10 and then just straightening up the back bringing your gaze down or you can just close your eyes if that's comfortable for you and think about resting your hands onto your knees your legs or you can have a mudra practice where you can either bring your um, thumb and index finger together or middle or either one they have different meaning or you can just rest your palms facing up and we're going to do gradual increase of exhalation up until eight so just notice your breath inhale exhale and then we're going to inhale for three two one exhale for three two one inhale for three two one exhale for four three two one inhale for three two one exhale for five four three two one inhale for three two one exhale for six five four three two one inhale for three two one exhale for seven six five four three two one inhale three two one exhale eight seven six five four three two one inhale 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Just breathe normally for a few moments here. And then inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, bringing your palms together in front of you. Let's bring three things to mind that you are thankful for this very moment. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale through the mouth with sound. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And thank you for practicing and joining me, whether this morning or the video. And I'll see you again soon. And if you want to try the breathing where we increase the exhalation at the end, if you're comfortable to try further, do slowly eight and then go for nine, try for three times and then go exhalation for 10 up to 16 or where you're comfortable. As long as you don't have to like really grasping for air and you're comfortable, just keep trying and practice. Thank you again and see you all soon. Ciao, have a good weekend. Bye, sayang. See you guys.